One of the coolest ways to check out a new city is by visiting some of the smaller, lesser known boutiques where you can not only shop and pick up something new for yourself, but you can also get to know the culture a little bit better. I'm gonna tell you about some of London's lesser known shops that you should definitely visit while you're here. Behind me is We Built This City. This is one of the shops that I recommend the most to people who want some London-y things. And it was started by a woman named Alice Mayer and she's actually here, so let's pop inside and say hello. So Alice, what is We Built This City? So We Built This City is a store on Carnaby Street um, that's on a mission to revolutionize London souvenirs. And we do that by bringing together the very best uh, gifts, arts, accessories, um, but all from London's creative community. And why did you start the store? So I started the store five years ago, um, mainly because I wanted to really, really help artists to sell their work and showcase their amazing talents in the heart of the West End in London. Um, but also because I thought that we could tell a much more contemporary, diverse, and kind of much fresher story of London. Um, sometimes the souvenir stores in London can be a bit traditional, so we wanted to freshen it up. So the outside of the shop changes every few months because they get a local London artist to come in and pick a theme and paint something around that theme. So the shop looks completely different every few months. We're at Rag Yard in Notting Hill, and this is a London-based family-run clothing business that creates pieces that are inspired by travels and different cultures around the world. And instead of clogging up the planet with even more fashion, they take vintage pieces that they find around the world and they rework them for a more modern aesthetic. You'll notice that a lot of the pieces have peacock designs on them, and that's because one of the designers for the brand went to Morocco and loved all the peacocks that she saw while she was there and has made them a huge part of the brand and all the clothing that you'll find. This is Wolf and Badger located in Cold Drops Yard in King's Cross. And in here, you're going to find all different types of clothing, accessories, and homeware that are produced by small independent brands that focus on sustainability and ethical production. And if you get anything in here, you can almost guarantee that no one else is going to be wearing it or have it in their home because all of the brands in here focus on small production runs. So each piece is very unique. London has a ton of great vintage shops and the biggest, and apparently it's the biggest actually, in all of Europe is called Attica, located in Shoreditch. Attica is part of my cool vintage shops to visit in London video, which you can watch by clicking the box that's popping up right below me. You can watch it right now. I'm gonna tell you about some of London's best, lesser known. I'm gonna tell you about London. I'm gonna tell you about London. This is gonna be a long hour.